Welcome to tomorrow's world. And don't forget, we don't hate technology, but it could replace us. So what's been going on this week? Well, Sebastian Schmuck has created this awesome visualization of the human labor required to train AI systems. We think of AI as totally autonomous, but in certain cases it needs to be trained by humans. And this is exactly what Microsoft did. They took thousands of humans and got them to upload very simple pictures of objects into their system to train it. And actually you can see these objects as segmentation.network. Go check it out, it's quite interesting. In other news, Ojo Labs just raised close to $6 million Series A funding round for, well, who knows? We know that they want to create some kind of text-based AI platform for customer interaction or sales, but they've been very, very quiet about exactly how it will work. So it'll be interesting to see what they come out with. So questions this week, uh, we had a great question from Sarah Eddy. Will AI have emotions? Well, that depends whether A, we program them with emotions and B, whether artificial intelligence achieves consciousness, which is the ultimate big question. So I would say yes, humans ultimately will try and program emotions into AI because I think it will allow them to interact better with us on a daily basis. How that will end up eventually is both interesting and scary at the same time. Another question from Seth Taylor, is AI changing the way we think? I would say it will almost certainly change the way we think eventually. We, we've already seen studies that show that Google and technology changes the way we think, and I think AI will definitely change the way we think in the long term. So it would be very interesting to see how that pans out. So thanks for watching this week's show. As always, please like us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We super appreciate it. And I'll catch you next week, internet.